you go back to the original structure of what DRI was all about, it was to benefit the state of Nevada, work on its welfare, and any type of research. For 53 years, we've had these entrepreneurial researchers leading research across our nation and around the globe, doing both basic and applied research, about 300 projects at any given time. I'm Allison Murray. I am an associate research professor in the Earth and Ecosystems Division here at DRI. I work in the field of microbial ecology and environmental genomics. My name is uh, Brian Mapambire, and uh, I'm the director for international water, sanitation, and hygiene at DRI here. I'm Dwayne Moser, a microbiologist at the Desert Research Institute. I particularly try to look at the interaction of microbes and the environment. My name is Hans Mosmuller and I've been, I'm a research professor at the Desert Research Institute, DRI. My research mostly focuses on aerosols, small particles suspended in the atmosphere, and what effects they have on human health and on climate change. In the U.S., things are generally getting cleaner, with maybe a few exceptions. While if you look at the developing world, where we have large-scale industrialization and introduction of motor vehicles, the air quality has been, gotten drastically worse. Generally, I think there's a lot of synergy between um, avoiding greenhouse gas emissions and aerosol emissions, just if you save energy and use less energy for our daily lives. For each research project, we put together an interdisciplinary group of people who can contribute. And DRI is an ideal environment for doing this kind of work. We've gone to Lake Vida twice, and once the first time in 2005, and the second time in 2010. My role in the project was um, really to look and see if there were microbes that were living in the system, in the ice, and in the brine, and and if they were alive. The science of like both how to detect life, what are the zones of habitability for life, and and where can life survive are are giving us a better picture, at least to understand um, uh, where where to look and how to look in, in in other systems not on Earth. We're really looking at putting together the paleo history of that system and really trying to understand how did the system come to be. DRI provides a lot of uh, intellectual freedom, and in my case that has taken me to a lot of um, really interesting extreme environments at both poles. I came in uh, August 2009 uh, to work with the professor and Dr. Allison Murray at DRI with the project Lake Vida. Since 2005, I had opportunity to work in the Brazilian Antarctic program, and I went there. Uh, I was working already in the Peninsula Antarctica for about uh, four years. I was actually uh, looking at pretty close to what uh, Dr. Murray was doing uh, in her research. Traveling to the continent, or like even like getting to the continent with the airplane and just looking at all this white land and this white world was just amazing for me. At the environment of DRI, I had the opportunity to train myself more for a, as a professional life. I'm really forever thankful uh, to decide to get my Fulbright PhD at the United States at DRI. There are over 700 million people in the world who do not have access to a very basic supply of safe water. I recently came back to DRI to help DRI create a center on international water development and sustainability issues. DRI has now helped to build the capacity of uh, our project staff in Ghana to be able to analyze the samples in those countries. We have since expanded into Mali, uh, Niger, and then also we'll be going to Ethiopia, and then also in India. We've been able to help them build a lab there, and now they, are do, the, they do the analysis. Several children die a day, just as a result of you know, drinking uh, poor quality water and poor sanitation. So, we are hoping that one day this problem will be solved. What we really were targeting is said, let's look in North America. You can actually get quite deep in some places in North America. We're looking for the diversity of deep life. 
whether it's present or not, and also just how it makes his living. This exactly does right here. We're making huge progress on bringing these things, domesticating them, you know, bringing them into the laboratory. If we learn how to recognize life, if we develop the tools, which is a big part of what our NASA Astrobiology Institute is about, if we learn how to do it here, you know, I'm still young enough where I have a hope of taking these tools, taking these techniques, taking these approaches, and actually going to Mars and finding life on another planet. Our, really our mission is to support the education of environmental and sustainability topics throughout the state of Nevada. NV Energy has actually been our number one sponsor throughout the year and this is a decade old program. We found the best way to reach those large number of students is to support our educators. Oh, yeah. Woo, look at this. We have teacher trainings and workshops and professional development that we always offer free. <laughs> Now we've been developing these green boxes, and what's great about that is we say it's developed by educators for educators. There we go, we can stand. Happy dance. It's really just a way to reach the students so they can become our hopefully future scientists and research, maybe even at the Desert Research Institute. We're now beginning to really expand our capabilities working with industry. At DRI, uh, we're very proud of the fact that uh, IBM has come to work with us and we're wor working with them uh, on things such as a center of excellence here in the Las Vegas Valley that builds upon the talent we have in water sciences, water technology, water management. What's happening now is the recognition that we have excellence in hydrology, we have excellence in uh, defense capabilities. There are things that we can bring to bear and partner with people in ways that we haven't done before. So to me, I think the uh, takeaway point on this is that DRI is this state's national global laboratory. It is an asset that they have that uh, many times they don't, the citizens don't recognize, but yet it brings incredible recognition through the intellectual capacity of our faculty. Mm -hmm.